It's GeForce Now Thursday, and since it is the beginning of the month, not only are we going to be taking a look at the games arriving this week, but also the games arriving this month. There's quite a lot to look forward to, so let's break it all down and get to it. We're going to kick things off by taking a detailed look at the six games arriving this week. First up is Marauders, which you can pick up on Steam and is available to play on GFN right now. It's a tactical first-person multiplayer looter shooter set in a sci-fi universe where you play as a space pirate, work solo, or in a squad with up to three other players to navigate a hostile battleground. You'll be hunting for loot, crafting new weapons and gear, and salvaging what you need to survive. Be aware that this game is a PvPVE experience, so you will run into other players, but it is an absolutely perfect game if you enjoy titles like Escape from Tarkov and have been wanting something like that on GeForce Now. Next up is another brand new release that's available on Steam, and that's the Car Desert Rally. It's described as the biggest off-road rally racing adventure ever developed, where you'll get to experience the speed and excitement of the largest rally race on the planet. It features a wide variety of licensed vehicles, from motorcycles to cars to trucks, quads, and SSVs. It features over 30 stages of the full rally racing from the official 2020, 2021, and 2022 Dakar rally races. It also has a seasonal and dynamic weather system with a full day-night cycle, along with single-player and online multiplayer game modes for for you to enjoy. Next up is Lord of Regal, another new release that's available to pick up on Steam. It's a turn-based 4x space strategy game in a galaxy divided by two elder races. You can unite with other species or forge your own path alone, navigate galactic council politics and defeat grand menaces while utilizing espionage, research, and military force. This is definitely for the strategy fans out there who love making choices in games. It has up to 10 playable races, each with unique characteristics and behaviors. Next is another new release available on Steam, and it's called Pre-Simulator. It's described as a monumental action game where you go forth and rock in the absolute weirdest and most messed up simulator in the history of sandbox shooters. The developers go on to say that it's a fully unprofessional English language version where the dub will have you in stitches. Honestly, don't know what to say more about this, it looks pretty crazy and out there, so if this seems like your type of game, go for it. Following that, we have Borrow Trauma, which is available to pick up on Steam and is a 2D co-op submarine simulator. That happens to be set in space with survival horror elements. You're gonna have to steer your submarine, give orders, fight monsters, fix leaks, operate machinery, while manning the guns and crafting items and staying alert, as danger in this game does not announce itself. It's certainly a title that was inspired by games like Faster Than Light, RimWorld, Dwarf Fortress, or Space Station 13. So if you're into those games, be sure to check this one out. It's got over 23,000 reviews over on Steam, sitting at a very positive score. Now the last title arriving to GeForce Now this week isn't necessarily new as it's just getting another launcher added for support, and that's Black Desert Online which will be available in North America and Europe on the Pearl Abyss launcher. It's a massive open world action MMORPG with over 20 million adventures. If you've been waiting for the non-Steam launcher to get support, I'm happy to say that it's finally here. While that covers the games arriving this week to GeForce Now, I want to quickly go over the list of games that are set to launch later this month. As a heads up, I won't be breaking down each title like I did with the previous list, but you can tune in every Thursday to see the breakdown for the games arriving that week. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to be on top of it when they drop. For the month of October, you can look forward to playing the following games. Astrigo's Curse of the Stars, Kamiwaza Way of the Thief, Ozymandias Bronze Age Empire Sim, Lego Brick Tales PC Building Simulator 2, The Last Ori Crew, Scorn, A Plague Tale Requiem, Warhammer 40k, Shooters Blood and Teeth, Faith the Unholy Trinity, Victoria 3, The Unliving, Commandos 3 HD Remastered, Draw Slasher, Guild Wars Game of the Year, Guild Wars Trilogy, Labyrinthine, Volcanoids, and Monster Outbreak. In total, we're seeing 25 games joining GeForce Now's cloud gaming library, including 12 brand new releases and some really big heavy hitters such as A Plague Tale Requiem, Victoria 3, and Scorn. Now I do want to point out that sometimes there are even more games that get added each and every week that don't appear on this list. So if you don't see a game you were particularly looking for, don't fret, there's still a chance it arrives. After all, September added an extra 13 titles, which weren't listed initially at the beginning of the month. And with that, we've wrapped up this GeForce Now Thursday. Do let me know what you think of these previews of each game. Let me know if that's something you like to see in these videos, as I am always looking for feedback on how to make this channel better in any way I can. 
Now, if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out. And if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you for watching the video. This has been The Virtual Cloud, giving you the latest and greatest on everything cloud gaming related. And until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds. <laughs>